What's happening, everyone? My name is Beastreak. Welcome back to Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. Now, from where we last left off in the in the last episode, what we did was is that we decided to choose the magenta door for this run through, and and well, for for our team, it was Luna and Sigma as well as Phi. Well, for one, no, the reason is that Sigma and Phi have to go in pairs because that's what their watches say, or else if they break the rules, then they die of poison. Then, after they dis after they ran into the door, well, ran through the door, they went through a long hallway, then found themselves in the lounge room. And, I have to admit, it was, this, I mean, yeah, I mean, from the last episode, there were puzzles which were a lot harder than... I realized. I mean, for one thing, it what it had been a while since I had played the, the Zero Escape games. But in the comments, one of you did say that the puzzles in this game are a lot harder than in well, 999. And yeah, it was actually really true when I was trying to work on the cocktail concoction puzzle game. And yeah, I was a bit confused with the hint at first, and I also had a little bit of trouble with the, the sundial, and then I realized I was doing it all wrong. But now, we've escaped the lounge, and now we find ourselves in an elevator. And, as you see right here, Luna is asking, do you think it works? Well, let's find out. Don't know. Only one way to find out, though. Hey. What is it, Fi? Someone's coming. Who is it? Oh! That was quick. It looked... <gasps> oh, hey, it's you guys! It looks like Alice, Clover, and Kay. Oh! And Dio, Quark, and Tenmyoji! Oh! Well, that was quick. I think that was a lot more... Actually, yeah, that was... We got reunited a lot more quickly than in the previous game. Huh. Whoa, are you alright? Man, it must have been running pretty hard. What's going on here? We ran into them a little bit ago. Who? The other, the, the other team? Well, not literally, of course. Okay. I don't know. With a prowl like that, I imagine we run into a lot of things. Hmm? Let me see the map. So wait. Okay, so did everyone get a part of the map? Oh, sure. Oh, I see. So it does connect to the elevator. Okay. I see. So the X's mean that what which doors are locked. Okay. Hmm. I see. Ah, I get it. All the three routes end up here. It's the same as the map we found in the infirmary. You went to an infirmary? Oh, we found a map like that too. And where'd you find the map? Ours was in the crew quarters. Crew quarters? Huh. Interesting. That is okay. That is really interesting. Well, I know in, in a in, in a in a couple of future videos we will be going back to the main choice and we will be going to those different areas. That so? We found ours in the lounge. Hmm. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. I think that's a good idea, Temiochi. No. What do you mean? What do you mean, Elfi? There's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. Okay. Whoa, what, what just happened? I thought there was a glitch. Do -do 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 -do. Well, we didn't get to see the inside of the elevator. Huh. What the... 
What is the deal? Uh, this is just like the other floor. Kind of does look like it. These doors have colors on them too. Yeah. Whoa. The one on the left is green. Green. The one in the middle is blue. Blue. And the one on the right is red. Oh no. Do we have to do do we have to make another choice again? Are these chromatic doors? It looks like it. Look, there's a box here. It looked like the ones we saw earlier. A box? <laughs> oh yeah, those. Lock. Huh. Once again. Yeah, I won't budge. Yeah, just like the other doors. Mm-hmm. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Yep. Something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. What? Oh. No, I'm fine. But it looks like my guess was right. What do you mean, Alice? The numbers have changed. Wait, numbers have changed? What do you mean? <laughs> numbers? Oh yeah, the time left. It looks like... Two hours?! What? Six minutes? Wait, what? Oh, for fuck's sake. Wait, wait a minute. I think I might have forgotten, but was our time like two, ten hours? Are you telling me we're gonna have to just sit around here for another two hours? What? Really? Looks like we don't have a choice then. Oh crap. Okay, I get it now. So previously it was 10 minutes, but now it's 2 hours and 6 minutes? What? We gotta head back. Crap. Quark, why don't you show them that note we found? Note? Sure. You found oh. a note? Did it say something like supplementary rules? What? Because if it did, we have one too. Really? Really, Kay? We found ours in the infirmary. <laughs> yeah, we found one too. I think we... yeah. It was in a safe in the lounge. Yeah, this is it. Here are a few more rules for you. Of course, with the rabbit puns. Once you've opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that, too. Once you open them, even I cannot keep you from going in and out of them. Any color bracelet can go through them and add as many people as you like. But, 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 you have to escape before you can take advantage of this free reign rule. Once you've activated the chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle beyond, it won't let you back until you've solved the puzzle. If that's true, then we can all go back the way we came and get into the warehouse. I don't think Zero's saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. We have to? Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? You mean this? Oh, even Kay got more key cards? The Ambidex room key. Oh! We found some too. So we found six of them. That makes six then. One for each AB room. Let's head back to the warehouse. Yeah. Uh, so when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? If you don't like it, stay here. Yeah. Stupid angry mutt watching the door sounds about right. Hmm. <sighs> Asshole. Hey. Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. Well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Yeah, I mean, just give it a shot. Or are you staying here by yourself? Well, Dio? Alright, fine. I'm going. Okay. So, it looks like we have to wait for two hours. Huh. At least we can go back to the warehouse, so that's good. Huh. 
So we're going back to the lounge. So this is completely new. So, this is the lounge. Yep, welcome to the lounge, everyone. It would seem Zero's notes were telling the truth. Yeah. Getting back here was easy enough. True. That means we could all go visit the infirmary, too. Oh! Or the crew quarters. Yeah, that's true. I mean, since we all solved the puzzle, and since we escaped in the, well, quote-unquote, escape room, we can come back to those places as much as we like. Hey, Grandpa, check this out! Grandpa? It's some of your favorite scotch! Oh, okay, so he's talking about the drinks. Oh. Yeah, it's not really the time, Danny OG. Whoa, hold on. Grandpa? Wait. So, what? Wait a minute, what? Since when were th since when were they buddies? Or had they always been that close? Wait a minute. I think I do remember that from the from the beginning when Court did say did call Tim the OG Grandpa like in the opening sequence. Is that... are they really related? In other words, they known each other before the Nonary game, or of Cork calling Tim the OG Grandpa, maybe they were even related? Hmm... That could be a possibility. Alice and Clover seem to be close too. Just how many of these people knew each other already? Let's go, buddy. Well, we'll just keep finding out more about them as we go along in the game. As soon as we get out of here, I can drink all the scotch I want. Hmm. You can drink all the root beer floats you can stomach. <laughs> what? You're gonna get me a root beer float? Hmm. But... But what? Are, are you sure? Do you have enough money? Hmm. Oh, ye of little faith. Are they really related? I found an old factory full of rare earth metals they could do. What? Yeah, I'm just as confused as you are, Sigma. That is weird. Well, back to the warehouse. Warehouse A. Two milk bingo comedy, welcome to my kingdom. Well. Hey. hey Zero, we're back. Why did you yawn? Oh, you're finally done. Well, we went through the first escape room, so yeah. You were taking so long. What? Ah, for... Yawning? Really? You're just a computer program. Well, hell makes... I mean, yeah, I mean... Wait, do AIs usually need to sleep? You don't get tired. Hey, B.O. My temper's got a hair trigger, and you're awfully close to pulling it. Uh... Oh, yeah, definitely like Monokuma. So I'd watch my mouth if I were you. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise... Well, you're going to need me to spell it out. Yeah. Forget it. <laughs> That's a good boy. <laughs> Alrighty! Well, let's get back to what we were talking about earlier. The cards. Namely... How do you get more BP? We go into the AB rooms, right? Look. You've got some keys for them right here. K and Quark have two each, so we've got six all together. But who goes into what room? What? <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Is this another choice? Anybody can go into any room. Really? But there are only six rooms. 
Yeah. Didn't I tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny. Okay. Then you mean both members of a pair need to go into the same room? I guess. Yes. 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 Okay, so, yeah. What do we do after we go into the room? Good, another good question. Play a game. Another game? Just like it says on the door. Hello, Ryan. Don't play game. You play the infinite game! Wait. What's ambidex supposed to mean anyway? That is also a good question. I would guess it's short for ambidextrous. Yeah, I actually did look that up and yeah. Most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands instead of favoring the left or right. But it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. Duplicitous or two-faced? Oh, I get it now. Oh. <laughs> it's a game of betrayal. What? A game of betrayal? Yeah. You mean the entire game? The notary game is a game where you try to open the number nine door and you see. Well, that's true. The Ambidex game is just a mini game you play as part of the larger one. Oh no. Makes sense. I guess. Like hell, this shit is confusing. Is it? I think so. Or is it that you're just a few carats short of a bushel? What do you think? Hmm. <sighs> Arrogant little bastard. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just how I am. So you better get used to it. Ah, uh, now, could I have you all move to the AB room, please? I'll give you more specifics once everyone's inside. Hmm. I think it'll probably be easier to understand that way. Oh no, I really wanna- I don't wanna betray anyone! K, Cork, and myself gave a, one card to Luna, Alice, and Temioji. Then we headed into the AB rooms. There wasn't really any discussion of who go into which door, and Fi and I found ourselves heading into the leftmost room. <laughs> Looks like everybody else has got in already. Oh, Sigma. Think we should head in too? Why are you asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. Okay then. Okay, okay. Swipe. An ambidex gate has been opened. Hmm. Forty-five minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. Wait, what? Forty-five minutes until re what? Ambidex game polling? What? This game's got a time limit too? Huh? Wait a minute! Who is this? What? Wait, is this a dead per- What? What? Who is this? What the hell? Who is this? I don't know who this is, Sigma. Fuck if I know. Look, it doesn't matter who she is. Just get everybody over here. Yeah, right. Hey! Guys! Guys! Get over here! We found someone! There's, there's a lady over here! She's unconscious! I didn't wait for a response. Just turned around and followed Fi into the room. We knelt down next to the woman and turned her over gently as we could manage. All that greeted us was... Blood? What? 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 She's covered in blood. 
I leaned down to listen at her mouth. Nothing. No breath. With shaking hands, I felt against her neck for a pulse. No movement. Just cold skin. What the hell were you yelling at? This! What's going on here? We found her like this, Dio. Is she? Yes. Quark, don't look! Somebody get Quark out of here! Uh, okay. C come on, Quark. Yeah, no child should look at this. Then, she's... She's dead, Kay. Yeah. She's not breathing, and I can't find the pulse. Her body's already cold, so I'm guessing she was... I'm guessing she was murdered a while ago. Murdered? Yeah. Does this look like an accident or a suicide to you? Hmm. Looks like she was stabbed. Yeah, it looks like it. Don't see a weapon around here, though. Hmm. That means either the killer took it with them, or it was part of them. Part of them? What do you mean? Part of them? Well, if someone was strong enough and they had metal hands, then they might be able to stab someone in the heart. Wait a minute, are you- Wait a minute! Are you saying that Kay killed this lady? What are you suggesting? It's just a joke. I hope it is. Don't take it so seriously. Whatever. If we examine the wound, we'll probably get a better idea of what the weapon was. Yeah. Let's get her to the infirmary. Right. She might be old, but she's still a woman. Yeah. If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. Come on, boys, let's yeah. go. Right. So it looks like we can and I go oh, so we can go to the infirmary. Okay. Dio, Kay, and I gingerly lifted the woman up and carried her to the infirmary. Perhaps he just didn't consider himself one of the boys, or maybe it was something else. But whatever the reason, Temiochi only stared? What? His whole body was rigid. Like a rope pulled almost to its breaking point. But it was his eyes that caught my attention? What? He wasn't staring at us. Not quite. It was more like he was staring toward us. A smoldering spark of something. Burning silently behind his gaze? What? It wasn't until we were almost in the infirmary that I realized Ken Miyoji hadn't spoken a single word since the moment we found the body. What? So wait a minute. Does Ken Miyoji know who it was? That could be a possibility. I turned to look back at him. He was following us at a distance, his breathing heavy and labored, and his movements slow and shuffling as if his body was suddenly made of lead. It has to be a possibility that he might have known about the lady. Okay, so this is the first time we've ever seen the infirmary. Well, outside of playing, outside of doing the escape room, but still. Oh, okay. The old woman's body was surprisingly light. Carrying her almost felt like carrying an old, dry piece of wood. <laughs> we set her down carefully in the infirmary bed, as if we were afraid she might break. Oh man. She looks so peaceful. Hmm. So... Hmm. So is it really possible that... Ken Miyoji knows about the lady? I mean, I know I said that a bit earlier, but still. Almost like she's just going to wake up at any minute now. Maybe she didn't suffer much when she died. Maybe. 
Let's hope so. Anyway, I feel a little bad about doing this, but I think we need to examine her. Yeah. You mean like an autopsy or something? Well, that's what she did suggest earlier. I'm just going to have a look at the wound. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that, it is sort of like Danganronpa, where you have to examine the dead body to see what the murder weapon was, how they died, and... Yeah. If we had a coroner, then it would be a different story, but... Coroner? Um... What? What is it, Luna? I have a medical license. Oh, you do? Well, that's, that's great. You're a nurse? That's great. No. Oh. What? <laughs> You're a doctor? Well, I'm not exactly a coroner. Interesting. Huh. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover, can you? Yeah, I guess. Sorry. You don't need to apologize. No, you don't. I mean, yeah. Maybe I could, maybe I just could just call you Dr. Luna from now on. Are you really going to perform an autopsy? Sorry for blocking your view, Clover. Oh, um... You haven't done this before? I won't really be doing it. What? I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. Huh. Atom. It's called an Atom. Is that like an acro ac eh, acronym? It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. Okay. Oh yes, I remember. Wait, you do? Oh yeah? And just how the hell do you remember that? Because Alice, Clover, and I examined this entire room. Okay, that'll make sense. <laughs> so you think you could use it to perform some kind of autopsy? Yes. Okay. I think I should be able to manage that. Well, that's good. Hmm. Luna ran the scanner over the body, then turned back to the terminal. The display filled up with text, most of it rather technical. Sex, female, estimated age, 65 to 75 years, Diagnosti diagnosis, deceased, cause of death, exsanguination, estimated time of death, 3 to 4 hours, damage trajectory, weapon entered through the fourth intercoastal piercing heart, wound characteristics, wound margin, clean continuous, wound angles, one sharp, one blunt, Wound cavity 150 millimeters, wound length 30 meter millimeters, wound width 3 millimeters. Conclusion: Based on the characteristics described above, there is a 95% chance the wound was caused by a sharp, single-bladed instrument. Oof. Huh. Yeah, I don't really get it. Well, I know, I do. What's it mean by instrument? Was she stabbed with a clarinet or something? No, it's more like a sharp, like a, sort of like a knife. It means a tool of some sort. Right. I mean, there's like, well, medical instruments. A knife, probably. Yeah, like that. In other words, she was stabbed in the heart, right? Right. Yes. Well, I suppose that clears me of suspicion. I guess. Sorry, but no. What? Why? Yeah. Please, don't tell me you think my hand can somehow turn into a knife. Hmm. I told you that was a joke. Okay. Then why am I still a suspect? Oh no, do we have another killer among us? We found the old lady in one of the AB rooms. Specifically, the one farthest to the left. Oh, that's right. That's right. And now it's the only place where both Clover and Kay were. Before we went in there, only two other people had been in that room. Yeah. You and Clover. What? Only one of you was conscious. That was right, Kay. Fi, please, stop joking around. Well, she's, she's, she was just stating the obvious, but... 
I think... I think... Maybe, what if the lady was... was killed and placed in there to frame them? Or if... actually, mostly to frame Kay? I assure you, there was no one else in that room besides Clover when I woke up. I would believe that. No, I, I think... yeah, because... Having these not having the nine people here would make a whole lot of sense. She must have been put there later. I would have to agree with that. It is a possibility. I mean, there are twists and turns here and there. But the door was locked, right? Right. I don't think anyone could have gotten in without the key. Hmm. Perhaps, but... But what? There was a hatch on the ceiling, remember? Well, that's true. Yes, there was. But then Zero locked them. But Zero said he locked all the hatches. Yeah. Ow. Well, if he was telling the truth, nobody could have gotten in there after you two left. Which means... You fucking bastard! What? You kill her, Kay. I knew it. You're him, aren't you? You're the real Zero. I don't think so. Wait a minute, please. Just calm down. You aren't making sense. Let's suppose I am Zero. Why would I do something that would obviously cast suspicion on me? Once again, a very good question. Uh, well, because... Yeah, because, well... Yeah, because, well, for one thing, we know Zero would not ease... Like, well, we know, no, we know that for Zero, he wouldn't reveal his identity so obviously. Because you figured we'd think that, and you'd throw us off the trail by doing the exact opposite. What? That's not a logical argument. No, it isn't. Still, you do have at least half a point. What? Huh? Your argument doesn't confirm my guilt. No, it doesn't. But it does show us where we should be looking. The real Zero. Off, up once again. Really good. Really good question. The person who brought us here is likely the person who murdered that woman. Could be. Doesn't that seem like the most reasonable answer? That is a... yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I would have to agree. If Zero was the murderer, then they could open anything they wanted to. Right. I mean, didn't Zero say something about that? I think so. I live in the master computer. Right. That means all the electronic doors in this whole warren are under my control. That's right. Exactly. Right. So Zero the Third is has control over everything. Also, consider this. If the murderer isn't Zero, why would the AI Zero stay silent? That is also an excellent question. He told us that his job was to make sure the game ran smoothly. Right. But now the unexpected has happened, and he says nothing. Hmm. Why would he do that? That is interesting. Really interesting. Why would he do that? If he can see everything we do, then he must know who killed the old woman. Right. So why has he kept his silence? The answer is simple. It's because Zero killed him. Well, it killed the woman. The murderer is Zero. Or rather, Zero Senior, I suppose you could say. Right. He likely ordered Zero Junior, the AI, to keep his identity hidden. Right. If Zero Junior told us about the murder, then Zero Senior's identity would be compromised. Right. There was something else to consider as well. And what's that, Kay? Perhaps this murder was not unexpected. Really? Zero Senior murdered her. Oh. Just as planned. Death is only another part of the game. That is true. Killing someone is just part of a game to him? Well, there's no way to know for sure. But I would assume so. Yeah. Hmm. 
Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Oh no, not this again. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pause right here because that's gonna be a little time I have to for this video. So yeah, that is interesting. That is really interesting. So what we're gonna so so not only do we are we going to figure out the polling and about the Ambidex game, which could be a game of betrayal, and I'm not looking forward to that, but we found a woman who was murdered, and that Ten Miyoji may have a connection to her. I mean, I'm just guessing that since the way his body language, the way his body language was, well, shown to us, or the way how, the way, he re the way we read him, read about him, and yeah, it could be a possibility that he knows about this woman, and we don't know who the woman is, but I also have another question. Is Quark and Tamioji really, are, are they both of them really related, or is he just, or is, or is Quark just calling him Grandpa, just for, as a nickname? Well, once again, we won't know for sure, but in the next episode, We'll see what happens when the Ambidex game polling closes. So stay tuned for more. Zero Escape, Virtue's Last Reward. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to check out my other Zero Escape Let's Play videos. And also check out my other Let's Play series where I do all kinds of gaming genres, including visual novels, well, as well as... Well, side-scrolling games, choose-your-own-adventure games, action games, well, racing games, as well, and even open-world games, fighting games, and many other games, and as well as RPG. And also, be sure to check out my other content where I do reviews, discussions, reactions, top tens, voice impressions, challenges, and theories. And if this is the type of content you enjoy watching, please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell on. So once again, Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Speed Streak out.